Oh, yeah, Daniel Lucas. Hello, I'm Alessandro Bonatoni, and welcome to Food 101. Food, 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 people. Let's talk about food. Oh, Shafi. Hello, Daniel. What's up? <laughs> it's been a long time that we are off. <laughs> yes, a little vacation. <laughs> little vacation. We did, uh, people, we did our last episode last week, but we cannot upload it because there's something wrong with it. We want to apologize. Took a vacation so long. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for those countries that supporting us. Right, Shafi? Yes, absolutely. Uh, because we are number one in Karagistan. Oh, wow. Imagine, imagine we are number one. Even we are having a little break for one month. Yeah. <laughs> wow. But thank you so much for supporting this podcast. Because as I said, in um, Karagistan, we are number one. Jordan at number two. Nigeria at number three, Malta at number three. Oh, I love Malta, Shafi. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Near Italy, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, the neighbors. Mm-hmm. Canada at number seven, Finland at 26, Senegal at 31, Kuwait at 32. Oh, my goodness. Luxembourg is uh, number 43, Singapore at 45. Czech Republic at 60 and Netherlands at 106. At least we are on the top 100 on the Apple Fantastic. Charts. Wow. Thank you so much, people. Even I, again, even we are off for uh, one month, you are still supporting this podcast. And we are so grateful. Yes. And today, Shefi, what are we going to talk about today? Well, let's talk about a nice book, you know, the, the volume 12, the Italian cuisine book. Oh, yes. And I want to promote, Shefi, our uh, website, food101.ca. Yes, check it out. Check it out, people, because we are uploading good things about culinary. I just uploaded now Hollandaise sauce. So how, oh, how wow. You, how you make hollandaise sauce, it's in there. It's easy to prepare and one of the vessel sauce in the mother sauces. Yes. The chef and I now are every day, we are posting a recipe that good for you, that we give you uh, guidance in everything from simple sauces, from simple recipe that make your life so easy. Yes. We're going to talk about the Food 101, Volume 12, Italian Cuisine. Uh, I'm, a, I'm looking at the website right now. <laughs> yes. Look at Safi. It, I just uploaded Hollandaise sauce. So, so nice picture. Uh, <laughs> so nice, check nice, it. nice. Right, Safi? Check it out, people. Uh, food101.ca. It's been a long yes. time, you know what, Jeffy? It's been a long time I built this one, and oh, yeah? I I forgot to tell everybody that we have a uh, we have a website. Now, for sure, for the second time around, or for the next month, uh, I'm gonna do for the Facebook and what else? Uh, yeah, we got Instagram. We're gonna do Instagram. Instagram. Some uh, yes. nice picture on Instagram. Some uh, video on Instagram and Facebook. Oh yeah. We're going to load up with so many things on it. Yes. <laughs> you know, Last I got so many things that do at work. I want to show them my, our, our, you know, listener, you know, what we, what we doing. Yes, people, we are encouraging you to visit our website. And sooner or later, we're having our culinary course. We didn't yeah, a little bit that. of time, yes. Slowly but surely, people. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because Chef and I are so busy, 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 busy all the time. Valentine's coming soon too, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Last year, we talked about Valentine's, about desserts and everything. Yes. Menu, menu about Valentine's that make your loved ones happy and something to uh, serve on the table. Yes. 
And this, uh, I think we're gonna do it again, but only on one in one day. Can we do Shafi? Uh, vol, uh, food one one volume fourteen Valentine's menu. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> Why not? Why not, people? So we're gonna we have already Christmas recipes, and now our project is Valentine's recipes. Because yeah, last, why not? Because last year, Shafi, we talk about we talk a lot about Valentine's recipes. Yeah, I think last year we did a few weeks on uh, on that. Yes. So, Shafi, let's talk about Italian cuisine. So this cuisine. book it's a uh, it's a very handy book for uh, you know beginners. So we really like to to try at home, you know. You know, uh, the first recipe you're going to find in the book is lasagna, the most famous pasta in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Lasagna, lasagna. Yeah, you got some, uh, you know, polenta. You got some, we got some uh, bolognese sauce recipe. Uh, Osso bugo recipe. And yeah. uh, let's see. Uh, Parmigiana recipe. Lots of picture, guys. You should check it out. It's beautiful, they're beautiful. Yeah, of course, it is a full and complete recipe, you know, with the ingredients and the procedure how to make it. So it's yes. uh, it's make it a little bit easy for, for uh, who wants to try our our book here. Yes, people, um, Chef and I make it easier for you. Let's say doing lasagna, Chef. Let's yeah. give them sample. Oh, I, you know, I just follow these uh, few steps that we put it on. And, uh, and uh, of course, to, uh, you know, just, you know, all the, the, there is all the ingredients of the lasagna, a little bit of the history of the lasagna too. And, uh, yeah, you got your ground meat, you got your onion, garlic, tomato, herbs, uh, and uh, then you got the bechamel sauce recipe, uh, butter, flour, milk. And then, of course, you got the proce procedure to the procedure to make it. You know, you start uh, uh, with a, a pot with the olive oil, uh, medium heat. And then you put the meat. You cook the meat. You put the garlic uh, and the onions, tomato paste. Uh, cook a little bit with the seasoning. Uh, cook for thirty minutes. Then you make a bechamel. You know, uh, you. And actually, we talk already about bechamel, how to make a bechamel on the, our mother sauce. Mm, yes. And uh, yeah, then after, you know, you assemble the lasagna, you know, and you do uh, layer after layer, you know, you alternate, uh, you know, you mix with the sauce and, uh, and the bechamel. And uh, you bake at 375 for uh, 25 minutes, you know, about. A little bit, even a little bit more, but yeah, depend on the oven, of course. And uh, let's say, voila, you wait a little bit and then you cut it. Yes. As simple as that. <laughs> yes, simple as that. Sunny oh, yeah, of course, cut. 15 minutes about, you know, to rest after. Uh, yeah, because of, you know, when you cut it, when it's rest, it's much, much better. Much, much better. It's not Definitely. that hot. You can eat and you enjoy Yes, and if you cut it to the rest, it's so perfectly nice and tender to cut. So, Chefi, if you describe Italian cuisine, because volume 12 is Italian cuisine, if you summarize it, what is it? Well, Italian cuisine, it's uh, my vision of Italian cuisine, it's uh, make it easy for everybody to, to cook at home. That's, uh, you know. Uh, how easy I can, can be. Uh, I like to work uh, and make easy recipe. Uh, well, of course, uh, uh, at the restaurant, or we, you know, uh, I like to uh, improvise and make something uh, different or new. But, you know, when you try to keep the tradition, you know, about Italian cuisine, we should follow that. We, we have to keep tradition. And, you know, if you look, if you cook traditional Italian cuisine, it's not that hard. It's very simple to follow the, you know, the, the steps, the, you know, especially on, on our book, you know, because a very easy uh, step to do a, you know, different recipe here. And... Um, yeah, that's what it's all about. You know, the Italian cuisine, it's uh, easy, easy food. It's no um, 
complicated at all. Yes, simple but delicious. Absolutely. You know, if you go inside, you can see even some recipe of grissini, ciabatta, uh, you know, how to make focaccia. You know, I love focaccia. You know? mm, yes. So, Chef, for simple uh, recipe for focaccia, can you tell us? Uh, simple recipe for focaccia, well, uh, all purpose flour, uh, fine sea salt. That's a very simple to make at home. Eh? And, yes. Uh, sea salt, uh, uh, dry yeast, uh, water, uh, uh, olive oil, uh, coarse salt to put it on top, and fresh rosemary. Why well, you get a mix, everything except for the salt, and um, you mix in a bowl. Then after that, you uh, then you should put the salt. So the 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 yeast is still in, uh, you know, um, doesn't kill the, the the yeast. You know, the still alive. Yes, it will rise up. Uh, yes. <laughs> and then we put in the oven for how many minutes? Well, you're looking at about 20 minutes. Well, it's this uh, should be a 400 degrees, 380, 400 degrees. 20, 25 minutes should be ready. Definitely. But of course, depending on the size of the of the tray that you make, uh, the size that you want to uh, mix, uh, and uh, uh, even the temperature, sometimes it's, uh, it's very important the, 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 if it's too much humidity, if it's not, you know, but you know, for an easy way to make a focaccia home, you know, just follow the steps. That's it. Yes, follow the steps, people, because in our book, it's so easy and it will not give you a hard time for cooking any Italian recipes. So, yes. Shafi, let's do thank Pitch Pot for being the number belong to the number 70 best food podcast people food 101 is belong to the 70 best food podcast before we are number 13 but now we are number 17 but we're still grateful for that because we're still on the list of 70 best food podcasts thank you for that and of course listen notes for our listen scores uh, listen score of 41 and belong to uh, 1.5 popular show globally. And thank you so much. It already uh, shout out to the countries listening to us. And Chef and I are so grateful. So Chevy Food 101, Volume 12, Italian Cuisine. What do you think is the best highlight of our book? Uh, the best I like, oh, well, for sure, the, the pictures are the best one. And, uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> but no, no, the best I like, well, yeah, because it's a, uh, it's a mix. It's no, uh, you cannot, you don't find always, you know, the, okay, first the antipasto, then you do the pasta, then you find this. No, you, it's all a, uh, it's all mix. So yes. uh, you can find even a tiramisu after, uh, what do you got? Uh, after the, um, the gnocchi. After the gnocchi, you find a tiramisu. Then after the tiramisu, uh, you find pizza. So it's uh, it's a little bit a mix. So I give you a little bit of variation. You always gotta follow this, you know, the same uh, steps. It's a little bit boring, you know. <laughs> yes, <laughs> definitely, people. Food One One Volume Twelve Italian Cuisine is not that arranged that what you think about. Let's say let's do the first course, second course, and the main course. We do like assorted to it so that if you're looking for something that you like to cook in Italian cuisine, well, it's all there. And yes, we, absolutely. We, I agree. And, and we are do, doing our follow up for Italian cuisine people because we have a lot of things to put in there, but it's not enough. So probably Food 101 volume after the um, Valentine's Day. After yes. the Valentine, after the volume 14, Valentine's Day, we'll do the follow-up for Food 101 volume 15, uh, second Italian cuisine. Yes, why not? Why not? Because we have a lot of recipes to do more, B, and we cannot squeeze in one book only. Absolutely. 
So I'm inviting you to l- listen to my other podcast, Book One O One Review. People, it's our fourth season two, and listen to my this coming episode, one of the、uh, Grand Slam awardee in the book industry. He got Hugo Award and a lot of awards. Miss Jennifer Brosak is. My next interview for this coming Thursday. So please do listen. Book one o one review plus my books. A chef and I have books on food one o one. I have our also books on book one o one review. Book one o one volume one highly recommended. Volume two suggestion and. Volume three is recommended.、Uh, grab a copy available on Amazon and leading online bookstores worldwide. So, Shavi Wood One O One Volume Twelve. What else you can say about it? Ah,、uh, what can I say about it? Ah,、uh, wow,、well, we got a nice recipe of tiramisu. That was traditional, classic recipe that we got here: carbonara, tiramisu, pizza. You know, and、uh, yeah, it's a、uh, classic,、uh, yes. simple and、uh, easy to for、uh, for the beginner. That's、uh, that's well, what can I say? Yeah, that, that's、uh, it's the important thing. It's easy and for most especially for the beginners that they wanting to, to have a journey in Italian cuisine. We did it for you. Oh yes, absolutely. Well, we did it for many other people, but you know, especially for you, <laughs> <laughs> especially for the beginners. So please do grab a copy, Food One One Volume Twelve, Italian Cuisine, available on Amazon and leading online bookstores worldwide. Steffi,、uh, how's Soto Soto? Ah,、uh, busy, busy. busy, busy we got busy, ready busy. for、uh, for Valentine. We got lots of parties coming up. Ah,、uh, it's、uh, like usual. Uh, so, we never and, we never get boring over there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's for、boring. sure. For you know, sure, it's, so, uh, that's what it's all about. Our、uh, soto soto, you know. You you got your our crowd. They always come back, and、uh, we always full. But what then? This、uh, this week was、uh, now last week was uh, uh, the uh, All Star Games in Toronto. So it was、uh, the all the hockey All Star. Uh-huh. And, uh, we had、uh, lots of uh, lots of uh, great star uh, came uh, old hockey player came in uh, in uh, in Soto Soto. Not old,、eh, but you know,、uh, very famous, very famous. Some、mm, they're coaches,、yes. some they're not.、Uh, you know, and、uh, yeah, it was、uh, it was cool, very very cool. So, Shafi, invite our listeners. To visit you in Soto Soto. Absolutely. Okay. If you please、uh, come and、uh, see us, come and、uh, try our food at、uh, Soto Soto, One Twenty Avenue Road, downtown uh, uh, Toronto. And uh, yes, uh, we have another another restaurant in Oakville too. So please come and try. We do traditional Roman cuisine, a little bit Italian cuisine, a little bit everything. But、uh, basically, it's、uh, very Roman, and uh, uh, our owner Marisa, she's、uh, from Rome. She is in business with Soto Soto for more than thirty years, so it's、uh, established for so long. And、uh, everybody in Toronto knows Soto Soto because it's、uh, it's a classic,、uh, simple Italian cuisine, and、uh, still、uh, the same flavor like thirty years ago. Yes, people. Let's support Chef Alessandro. If you are wondering where Chef Alessandro is working, well, Soto Soto, one of the five star restaurant in downtown Toronto. So please do support him because if you support him, more and more podcasts to come, <laughs> <laughs> more episodes to podcasts to come. Right, Chefy? Yeah, but I always suggest to make a reservation because we we really need a reservation. To come in. Yes.、Yeah, so, so Chef, can you give out a glimpse of what you're gonna prepare this Valentine's for the love? Ah, wow,、well, this Valentine. Well, I can't tell you right now because we didn't come out yet on the on the website, so I can't tell you yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you next Monday. <laughs> oh, Absolutely.、Oh, yes. Yes. We're gonna talk again next Monday, Chef. Your menu for Valentine's for. Okay. Fantastic. Yes, I will.
that will be our topic next Monday, okay? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so, Sefi, thank you for your time. Thank you very much for having me always here. Thank you, everybody. Wake up, people. See you soon.